calling out to business owners, to company owners, to people who manage a team. This next tool could save you thousands of hours and lots and lots of money. You like the sound of that, don't you? It's called Agile, and it puts everything in one place, from the CRM to the invoicing to the customers, so that you don't have to log into different programs all the time. It's all in front of you. Do you like the sound of that? Let's have a look at Agile just before we do. There is a link in the description of this video, and it is my special deal link. Have a look at that, and you'll get it, hopefully, for a great price. Let's jump in, and let's find out what Agile is all about. Okay, so this is where you will start when you set up with Agile, and you will put all your company details in, your website, your phone number, your logo, your address, the currency, which date format you're dealing. Isn't it weird how we have different date formats around the world? Uh, and once you put in those details, you go to the next step, and you will set up your finance settings. So you can either upload your own, or you can use a template to create your invoices, and put all the details in there. This is great. So this is going to deal with your clients. So it'll manage the time that you've spent on jobs, and then it will automatically deal with the client, send them invoices. So you pick a template and set up your invoices. So this is what you will have on your invoices. Uh, and even all your terms can be dealt with. You know, it's due after 15 days, your tax number. Uh, and the next step, you can invite team members then. All right. So all of the members of your company who work within this and will be in charge of the administration of your company, you put their names and email addresses in there and depending on your package you can add as many as you like and once you've done that so the idea with agile is you have one place where you can control your company and everything about it so you can integrate all of the big apps so if you do mailing campaigns you can integrate with sendfox or active campaign uh, you can integrate with hubspot if you want to integrate your crm content revenue management profiles so you can have a look through the list there and you can see that it integrates with all of the big boys google calendar if you want to track people's times transfer wise if you're sending money if you have clients abroad and you want to deal with the money even zoho books or quickbooks so it does integrate with everything so that you can manage it all in one place and let's have a look what Agile can do, and it's quite exciting. By the way, my logo is just up there because I've used that as my company logo to show you Agile, I know. So here we go. It can manage your CRM. It can manage different accounts of all of your content revenue. It can manage your team. So the human resources management, teams, the designation of those teams, their attendance when they're on holiday, when they're on leave. It can even manage the pay. This is good stuff. Payroll and your salaries of your teams. It has got projects. You can set up new projects, and in each project you can have tax, task management, and task calendar. It manages the financials. So, estimates. If you send out an estimate, you can create it and send it out within financials. Your invoices, your payments, and your expenses can all be managed within Agile. The subscriptions, it might be subscriptions you have for other software packages, can be managing. An accountancy isn't there, but it's coming soon. I always look for software like this. If they've got things like stuff that's in beta and accountancy, you might think this software, well, it's not quite there yet for what I need. But if it is at a new stage like this where there is stuff coming soon, and if you can get it for a sort of a lifetime deal price, an LTD, or for a very reasonable subscription price, it might be worth getting onto it now. And when those things arrive, it, that's when it'll be offering the real value for money. It can manage all of the contracts. So you can send out contracts for people to sign there. It can manage proposals. I think it's got templates, can't it? You can create a proposal. Let's have a look if it has got templates. You can choose a client. Hi, so you choose one of your clients. You put the title, new proposal. I just want to get through this bit because I want to just see if total the pros proposal is going to be for 1,000 US dollars. Uh, there's the chat strip. Proceed to build it. Let's have a look at this. You'll like this. Um, create a new folder. So this is a proposal for... Da -da -da -da, written for... Da, for, for. Now look, start reading the promote. Okay, I'm not sure. I, I thought I did see somewhere where, you, where it actually had templates you could pick from. But I think, no, once you've created one proposal at the moment, um, it will save, and you can save it as a template to use for future proposals. You can see that in that proposal, if you look down the right, you can do it in bulk with the content revenue management, the contacts, and the company name, so that once you create one proposal, you can send it to many different people, and it'll use the same, same details. Um, it's got the timesheet here. It tracks time. So people who are logged on to Agile, so if all of your team are, you say, right, listen, team, okay, team, we are switching to Agile to manage the business. 
Okay, so when you are working on somebody's website design, I need you to go onto the time tracker. And I need you to say that you are working for this company, select project. Oh, wow. So, right, you're writing a new web page for, I've not got any projects saved here, for this company or this project, and it's this specific task. You see how I'm, I'm getting there now. So you've got in the task manager, you've got a project or the project manager, you've got a project and you've got a task and you've got a member of your team and they are working on that task. Um, this is how much you're charging per hour and you start the timer. All right, it's not working because I've not selected the project. But you get the idea of that. So each member of your team, when they start working on a task, uh, it will automatically calculate what you know what they're charging per hour, and it'll start the time, and it'll add all of that into the billing system for your clients. <laughs> I told you, like the agile, this is good. I know I'm not. Listen, I know I'm not doing this and setting it all up as if I was a business because I don't have people working for me. But I just want to show you how it works for you. So not only have you got your timesheets, you've got tickets. You can deal with tickets in the organization so that uh, if one of your clients has sent you a ticket, you can assign it to different people, resolve them. You've got your tickets. Uh, what else can you... This is... Wow. This has got a lot in it. I think Agile's going to be a bit of a winner. Um, store files there. It's got a chat system you can use. It's got scheduling for appointments and events. Not sure what pages is. Okay, so you can create custom pages for your business. Uh, you know, little little wikis of how-to articles or custom pages that you can store there that people might want to use. Uh, it's got announcements within the company. You can make an announcement there that will go to everybody within the company. They have thought of everything here, haven't they? It's got forms. Yep, so it's got a full form manager in there. I, I, I'm just looking at, you know, we we see software that does all of these individual tools. And here is some software that does just about everything. So forms and also products. If you sell products, you can add a product into there and store all the details of a product. Reporting, task reports, timesheets, financial reports, income versus expenditure, uh, and also leave and attendance reports. And then, of course, it has got a fully configurable dashboard so you can decide, there you go, tick boxes to tick and untick. At the moment, it's showing everything. Your total number of clients, projects, your teammates, which tasks are pending, your hours that are logged. You can show as much as you little on your dashboard. Not just that. I've just seen that bottom right as well. Sticky notes. So you can just add a little note to the bottom of it. Little to-dos, little memos on the bottom. If you are a business owner and if you have a team or clients... Well, it's quite exciting, isn't it? So normally I take a bit of a pause now and I think of my final thoughts, but I don't think I need to with that job because I'm genuinely excited for you and your business if you have a team and clients because Agile seems to be that ultimate tool where you can manage your whole business within one piece of software. And it seems like it's developing all the time. There's quite a bit of stuff in beta. There's stuff that is coming soon, so it's going to be adding all the time to its amazing features and of course you can tie in all of those other apps and integrate them so they work within agile so yeah genuinely excited have a look through all of the features and see if it's something that you can use within your business and do check check out that link in the description of this video uh, i always try and find the best deal for each piece of software and as they evolve and change the deals over time i will update that link with what i can find as the best best deal so if you like this review do subscribe to the channel. Just click that notification button and I will keep you posted with the best reviews and also last minute deals. If I find something that's ending soon, I'll post a quick video so that you don't miss out. Take care and I'll see you for another one soon. And hopefully you're as excited about me about Agile.